Confluence is a program where leaders in international cooperation meet. So the conference has been um, a great opportunity to decompress and just reflect, take the needed pause with the craziness of the past two years. Leadership can be a bit of a lonely space and so to be uh, real, to be vulnerable, but to also be creative and brainstorm and have some blue sky thinking around um, what can happen next. I'm getting an opportunity to reflect on what I'm doing in this sector. Like for example, a reflection in my teaching of international social development, right? A reflection on my work in gender justice. I'm picking up different ways uh, on, on how we can manage complex international projects, how we can look for different funding opportunities, as well as how we can efficiently implement our international projects in collaboration with our partners all over the world. I've learned that um, to be leaders um, in this new space, our approach to leadership has to be deeply personal. Humanitarian work um, involves so much of your heart <laughs> and how do we support our partners overseas in terms of mental health? How do we support our partners and our, um, our staff here? It's very important to look into the local context. It's very important to go and reach out to those communities as a learner, not as a teacher. So I think starting with ourselves, and I think this idea of decolonizing our minds um, and really addressing the assumptions and biases that we have in our work will really translate into um, empowered international cooperation. But I think we do, we do need more collaboration between uh, not only civil society, but also with the private sector and the public sector. I think conferences like Confluence um, remind us of the need to have leaders in the same room leaders to have the conversations, leaders to show up and be vulnerable at the same time. Living locally but like acting globally and just realizing that we are in Alberta and um, while we have a responsibility to the people of Alberta, we also have a responsibility globally and that should always come across strongly in the work we do. We hope coming out of this to re-foster those networks, build those relationships, welcome new folks, and I just hope to see the sector continue to foster collaborative opportunities and collaborative leadership.